Hey guys, I guess you can tell I am back from my holiday. I'm super excited to be getting back into my beauty videos. I do have some holiday vlogs that I will get around to editing. I've just been super busy, you know, coming back to reality and trying to find a job and all those real life problems. Real, it's just real life, I guess. Um, Matt and I did film the Chubby Bunny Challenge. We filmed that the other day and I've uploaded that to my channel. So make sure you guys check that one out. It's a bit funny. I never thought I'd win. I gave it a real good go. So if you're in for a laugh, make sure you check that one out. So today, if you weren't already aware, I'm going to be filming my empties video. Now I have a lot of products. I'm talking probably close to 20. Luckily, five of those are the same product. And if you're a regular on my channel, I'm pretty sure you might be able to guess which product that is. So I think we should just jump straight into it. I seriously have so much. I put it in my fruit bowl. I had nothing else to carry it all in. And I have been holding up so much space in my room. Some of this stuff I've actually brought back from Europe. Now that's dedication. So let's jump straight into it. I have so much to get through. First product is my Sympathy with the Skin. Excuse the ratiness of it. I did take this all over Europe with me. I loved this product. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I'd probably go back to Dream Cream. Dream Cream? You know what I'm talking about. The other Lush Holy Grail moisturizer product. Um, I do think this was possibly a little bit too oily for my skin. However, through Europe, the sun is so intense. It actually wasn't hydrating enough for my skin. So I will jump onto the next empties. Had to purchase this one. This is a Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Vitamin E Skin Lotion. This was amazing. This absolutely saved both mine and Matt's skin. We were getting really, really dry skin being out in the sun all the time. And putting this on, 100% back to new, it was a lifesaver. I don't even know if you can buy this in Australia. I did see it all over Europe and I wish I actually got a few other products from their range. They just seem amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to try and run through these all as quickly as I can because otherwise this video is going to be so insanely long. My next empty is the Dermalogica Special Cleaning Gel. Um, this product is quite expensive. I can't remember how much it actually was. But I did buy the extra large, so this is in the 500ml. I got the larger size because I did think it was better value for money. But I tend to swap my um, cleansing routine up pretty often. And I don't really stick to one product for an extended period of time. So that was probably a one moment on my behalf. Um, I do like this product. It, it does cleanse your skin. It leaves your um, skin feeling really nourished. Like... You don't get that horrible stripped of all nutrients feeling after you use this product. So it is great for um, sensitive skin. So this product is recommended for all skin types. It says that it's a soap free foaming gel designed to thoroughly re remove impurities without disturbing the skin's natural moisture balance. So there you go. It's calming. It was just great for my skin, but I have been just reaching towards more of my natural products. I just rather put than put toxins on my skin. I'd much rather use something that's natural. I'm pretty sure all my products are actually skincare products. Majority of them, yeah. So that leads me to my next product. It's the Uva Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I loved this product. Also a bit pricey, so you know, weigh up your options. I just felt that I got such a great clean. I felt my skin actually really come to life and just start to glow almost. It was amazing. So the back of the product, it says that it deeply cleanses the pores. It has vitamin A, lavender, and geranium extracts, which stimulate cell renewal to help improve your tone and texture. And I 100% agree. I think this product is worth, it's worth it. If you're having issues with your skin tone, you're feeling like you're, your skin's just not full of life and it's feeling a bit dull, give this product a go. It's well worth it. Next product is another, surprise, surprise, skincare product. It's the Sukin Facial Scrub. Now, this product, it is cheap. It is, you can pick it up at your local chemist. 
I got mine from Chemist Warehouse and they always have like specials and bargains on these products, the whole suit can range. I just didn't feel like, it says it's a scrub. It, it's not a scrub. It's awesome because it's, you know, paraben free, all that stuff. It's toxin free. It's what you want in a skincare product, but I just didn't get that feeling of clean. It was creamy, really creamy, and I just felt like I, I needed to cleanse my skin after I used it. So if I'm using a scrub and feeling like I need to cleanse it again, I'm not going to buy it again. So I'm sorry. All right, so another Dermalogica product is the Super Rich Repair Moisturizer. So this is from their Age Smart range. I love their Age Smart range. I still use it's a, ma a recovery mask and a micro mm, microtherm. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but I love those two products. This one, it's 50 mils. It was. I feel like I'm just going to keep saying all my products. They're not all expensive, but this one, yet again, was an expensive product. And for what it was, it was good. Don't get me wrong, I did love it when I was using it, but I'm trying other ones. I just don't feel like it's something I'm, like, I can't live without. So I'm definitely trying other products. It was amazing, but I just felt like I went through it so quickly. And for what I paid for it, I would have wanted it to last a bit longer. So my next product, again, it's Dermalogica. It is the Daily Microfoliant. Now, this product I originally hated. I was like, what is it? It doesn't work for me. I just hate it. And then I was in at the counter and I actually found out I was using it incorrectly. So once I figured out the correct way to use it, I became a bit of a fan. I wouldn't say I love it and I wouldn't repurchase it, but it definitely helped my skin. I just... I didn't see the difference between this and a cheaper product. Some of the products that I'm using now from Lush, they work better than this. There are some Dermalogica products which I just absolutely love and I will repurchase again and again and again. But this one, I may repurchase it, but I'm more than likely not going to. Next, we have a Lush product. My all-time favorite cosmetic company, I'd probably say. Oh, let's not say cosmetics, let's say skincare. So the next is the Mask of Mag... I can never say this. Magnamenti. Um, it's a deep cleansing, toning, and exfoliating peppermint mask. So this... I loved it. I did enjoy this product. I wouldn't 100% repurchase again. I do love a lot of their uh, face masks. So I kind of like to just vary it up a bit. Try a few of the others. Alright. So if you didn't guess which holy grail product of mine, which I have like five pots of dark angels five of them so matt and i both actually were using this and i was using it every single day which you're not meant to you're meant to be doing it like once a week or i think it's once a week um but when i was working out west i just felt my skin really needed it and this was an absolute godsend for my skin i don't think my skin would have survived out west without this product so I do have the five pots and I will be taking them back into Lush and I'll be getting my free face mask. I absolutely love that about Lush because I do go through so many different Lush products, whether it's, you know, face masks, scrubs, whatever it is. I always take all my pots back and I will be getting a new face mask with these ones. All right, so on to some different products. First is a tanning mousse. I first started using this one because I was using the Sugar Baby what is it? I forget what it's even called now. It's been that long since I've even used it. It's like an instant tan mousse. It's got a bit of a shimmer in it and once you shower it's completely gone. Um, I don't know what to say about this product. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I just love other products a lot more than what I liked this product. So I wouldn't repurchase it. But, you know, it's not a bad product. Next we have Frank. Everyone knows about Frank. I Love, love, love Frank. I will eventually repurchase another Frank. I'm currently waiting for a new product that I'm going to be trying. It's by a company called Jam Jar. They have a similar sort of coffee scrub, so I'll be giving that one a go soon. I'll do a video review and let you guys know how I like it. But everyone knows about Frank. Everyone loves Frank. You can't go wrong with Frank. Definitely, definitely love this product. Next, really simple, we have a hairspray. Love this hairspray, my holy grail hairspray. I love it because 
it's not too hard. Like it makes everything stay exactly where you want it to. But as soon as you run a brush through your hair, it's like you didn't have hairspray in it. It's just a great hairspray that doesn't leave your hair brittle and horrible and have that white flaky, ugh. So love, love, love. And I've actually already purchased this one. Next, I have my Inglot uh, face primer. This would actually probably be my favorite face primer. I always would go back to this one. I'll go and try something new. But at the end of the day, this will be my go-to. I absolutely love it. I actually do need to repurchase this one. But I don't know what to say. It's a silicone base and I just love it. I just find that my skin appears so much more flawless. It go, My makeup goes on so much easier. I don't end up oily. There's just nothing I can say wrong about this. It does absolutely everything that I want and love, love, love. Okay, so my final products. These were actually given to me as samples in the battle boxes. And okay, I had mixed emotions about these. At first, when I first used the shampoo, I couldn't believe it. my hair felt so brittle. I couldn't believe how horrible my hair felt. I then conditioned it and it felt okay. Um, later that day, I couldn't actually feel I couldn't believe how lightweight my hair felt. And that's what it says. It says a lightweight nourishing shampoo and conditioner. So I was like, oh my God, this is doing exactly what it says. It, my hair feels amazing. I was even like, Matt, Matt, feel my hair. It's unreal. Um, I then, not even two days later, my hair was insanely oily. Like I can't even explain. And my hair doesn't get oily in two days. That's not normal for me. So I was like, this is weird. When I washed my hair again, washed with this, same thing, the shampoo, horrible, so brittle, will never repurchase these products, it was horrible. Used the conditioner, again, my hair felt fine, but then I dried it and I cannot believe I have so much breakage through the top part of my hair. When I had, my hair was out and straightened all around the crown, tiny, tiny little breakages and all I can think of, it has to be these... There's no other thing that I've used or done differently and it wasn't before I started using these products. I didn't have that. So, peeved to say the lightest. I just can't believe Pantene would be like that. I absolutely, well I used to love Pantene. I don't use those sort of products on my hair anymore. But, and I don't know why I actually did. I thought, you know what, I'll just give these a go. I'll go give them a samples. Why not? Absolutely regret it. Alright guys, so that's it. All my empties for... The well, that's not just for the month, that's for quite a while actually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to my videos and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye!